Uh, well, go, go open your store. I'm going to publish that we are live, by the way. Oh, God, we didn't even say that? Oh, well. <laughs> Everybody just missed a great little rant. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I, I did on Twitter, but I wanted to... Uh, yeah, I, I, I put I put a thing on YouTube this afternoon saying we're doing shows Tuesday and Thursday nights, so we'll see if anybody shows yeah. up. I didn't give time, though. I probably should have given time. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I'll, I'll do it in the next one. <laughs> I got other videos to still put up, too. Ooh. You know, I read this article. It was um, from, from Forbes, and it said that GM is pulling their advertisement campaign, or their, I think it's right, advertising campaign from Facebook. Right? I guess it's worth something like $10 million or whatever. Are they not getting a good return on it anymore? They or? said it doesn't work. They said that advertising, on, that, that was literally it. Advertising on Facebook does not work. So they're not getting any return for their money. And, I, and, and, and you know, I was totally, I was tweeting that because I was, <laughs> That made my, that was like the headline of, of the year to me. So uh, it, it, I have to go find what I wrote because I think it, in all sar in all sarcasm here, people might like it. It was uh, I stated I stated um, where is it? Yeah, GM just figured out Facebook. It's a place for virtual farms and bubblegum consumers. <laughs> and then I go and I say, ah, the end is near. I hope for this stagnant tech. So, and then I and then I went on and, and that see this inspired more tweets, which were most current mainstream movements in tech are heavily driven by fads, while those that find use are drowned out. Time for a cleanup. Well, what I want to know about that is how was GM using Facebook? I mean, were they... Because uh, GM strikes me as one of those old school companies who is all about the, well, if I want to sell more things, I just add another 10,000 people. If I put it in front of another 10,000 people who aren't really interested in buying my product, well, one of them will change their mind. It's like I mean, were they were they targeting people who had driver's licenses and the money to actually buy a GM car? I don't I don't, I don't think because GM has <laughs> they were saying they have other successful campaigns elsewhere. I really do think it's just a demographic that really uses Facebook, and we and I, a lot of a lot of people aren't really interested in clicking. And they might, but I think that 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 there is some truth to that. That uh, if they're successful elsewhere, maybe it's just not the right demographic. Well, no, and it depends on a lot of factors. It depends on a what your product is, b who you're trying to target, and c you know what the what the conversion dollar amount and other shit is. I mean, a car is not a cheapy little purchase. It's a no, but I'm saying even getting getting clicks is is, is successful. It's not that oh they're going to buy cars. It's are are they are are they click throughs essentially. Um, and I just think that that I, I actually think that this is um, we'll wait and see because I might be wrong, but I, I think that this there is going to be more than just GM saying the same thing that that this is that face that Facebook ads don't work because there's a lot of analysts that are saying this is just a fad like MySpace and then let's move on. Well. I, well, they could be wrong too. I, 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 I honestly see it as somewhere in between. I don't think it has limitless expansion. I don't think it's going to keep growing. I think it has a niche to which it belongs. I think for certain goods and services, and that may just be your farm bills and your fluffer nutter. It may also be books and music and other things. But there's also certain things, and I would probably count cars among them, where it just doesn't make sense for that medium. It, uh, I've seen some crazy even ads on YouTube that uh, get click-throughs for stuff that's like, what? That I wouldn't even really relate to it. And I've had ads for weed whackers on my videos. 
Well, uh, uh, honestly, I would argue the same thing to a point about uh, YouTube vids, and I say that just because it's got to be targeted to the proper demographics. Mm-hmm. And I do not think the curation. But don't you think they're, it's like you said last show? They're carpet bombing. Exactly. And I think carpet bombing pays these these organizations like YouTube and Facebook just like these lump sum money. That's like they, we don't care. We're going to bombard them, and Facebook gets paid a certain amount, and we expect a certain amount of click throughs, and that's it. Well, it, okay, they pay just like everybody else, but you're, yes, they carpet bomb, so they basically budget, we're going to spend this much, and they just spend it, you know, just to spend it. Um, and it's, carpet bombing is actually self-defeating, you know, for lack of a better terminology to use. Um, in some hands, it actually helps those who are doing proper targeting advertising rise to the top. Because their ads become, you know, oh, yes, something else. I mean, uh, to, to quote something else we're going to go into, uh, a game whose existence I do not currently acknowledge uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, came out. And, okay. uh, however, I, as I was watching videos about game, which I do not currently acknowledge, uh, you know, the first three times I saw the ad, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But by the fifth time, I was kind of sick of it. And by the tenth time, I was like, really? Again? Again? <laughs> it's just, you know what I mean. It's it, 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 a cool ad, no matter how cool it is, no matter how much you like it. Once, okay. Two, yeah, cool ad again. Three, you're pushing it. Much more than that. You start to just get sick of it again. Oh, I'll, I'll say there's one ad that I think is, is really cool, which is the uh, Audi commercial where the headlights vaporize the vampires. Uh, 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 when I saw that, I was like, dude, that's cool. Yes, but would you want to watch it ten times a day? I don't know. I, well, oh, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I mean, it's a cool commercial. I mean, I eventually get tired of it. Yeah, well, no, that's the thing. And when you carpet bomb too much, that's exactly what you do to your, you know, you don't give people the time to recharge from your ad so they can stand to look at it again and go, oh, yeah, cool ad. Right, right. Well, yeah. I won't disagree. I mean, absolutely. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, a threshold where we go, hey, you know, enough is enough. Uh, yeah. Especially at the same man. I think so. I'd agree with that. And the algorithms are not adaptive enough at this point to realize, you know what? I don't care what's the more paid for ad in this particular ad queue. This person does not want to see this ad again today. <laughs> 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 they may get smart enough at some point, but they're not at this point. But, you know, this does happen also on TV, you know, where you keep seeing the same ads. No, I, it, it's Fox, the same especially thing. Especially on, like, the Sprout channel, since I got to watch it so much with, uh, with my younger kids. Gosh, sometimes I feel like one one sponsor pays for the whole this whole show because it gets shown so much. So it's definitely happening. On, it's also happening on TV a lot. You, you, you know, before I got rid of my TV, that was the thing that annoyed the bejesus out of me. You would see this mm-hmm. one commercial every single commercial break. And it was like, really? Like, really? Right. It, 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 really? <laughs> and, and, and anyway, for those of you who are listening, the ad that we, we are talking about, it says, GM says Facebook ads don't work. Pulls $10 million account. $10 million account, basically. So that's from Forbes. Nice. 